We spent a couple of days on our anchorage in Faro and we started to explore this beautiful location. The good thing in Portugal is nobody will steal a kayak because they are too lazy to paddle here. Everyone is using an engine. There are only motorboats here and they are driving like crazy. On the fishing harbour in Olao, we found the real crazy hippie boat. Olao has a great market. We got some fresh cheese and some green stuff. On the way back, it was low tide. The water disappeared and everything looked a bit different. We are somehow stranded. You know, with the tides, it's always a bit a game. Three hours before, we used this way. And now, um, it looks a bit different. <laughs> we took off with our camera kite, but the wind was a bit too gusty for a stable image. So far we had no plans for dinner yet, so Nicole went to collect some shellfish. So today we was two and a half hours on the beach and look for some dinner. <laughs> <laughs> now we cooked this with um, garlic and oil and a little bit of cream. And that's delicious dinner and we have something else. Look at this. We also found some oysters. Mm -hmm. Master of collecting shellfish. Nicole. Also, they delicious, just a little bit too much sand inside. Mm. Daniel don't like that much some shellfish. <laughs> yummy yummy. Of course, I had to try oysters for the first time in my life. I didn't want to eat them raw, so we cooked them. <laughs> Darling, what are you doing? <laughs> I know I'm not a big fan of seafood, but at least I tried. <laughs> the Isla de Cultura is a very nice place to anchor. We stayed one week here now and tomorrow we are continue our voyage to the west. We are heading to Portimao. On the road again. Our trip is today 35 miles. We go to Portimao. We have beautiful Ganakri conditions. A very easy, very light wind from behind. The canoker is pulling the boat. Now we have more speed with that canoker. We have six nodes. Just arrived in Portimao. It's a beautiful anchorage but very crowded. We found a spot and we will stay the night. 
Ferangudo is one of our favorite anchorages. Ferangudo is a beautiful village with a nice little castle. It's a place where you can meet horses on the street. In the harbor of Portimao, we met the crew of a huge Swiss sailing ship. It's a boat of the Swiss association Pacific and it's called Mauritius. There was a little crew and they had to take out their boat of the water. We helped them with a difficult maneuver. So Saturday night we are planning our trip to Morocco and we decide that we leave tomorrow maybe and then you'll check the weather now. I'm just checking the grid files and it looks very good. We have light wind around 4 ball 4, 3 ball 4 so um, everything looks very good to go to Rabat. We are planning to sail uh, one and a half days, 36 hours. Um, leaving tomorrow morning very early and to arrive on Monday late evening in Rabat. We were both very motivated and in good spirits for this crossing. But in the first two hours it all changed. Nicole got seriously seasick and we had to turn around and to go back. This time the ocean decided we were not ready to do this crossing. We arrived well in Portimao, dropped our anchor and got some rest. What comes next? In the next episode we do a second attempt to do the crossing to Africa. It's one o'clock in the night. We are starting to sail to Africa now. To see how the story continues, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our website, we have a live tracker where you can see where we are in real time. We don't earn any money with these videos, but if you like them, please consider to become a Patreon and to support our production. Hello, we are in the middle of the Atlantic. It's beautiful here. Good morning, good evening. Special greets to our Swiss friends. <laughs> It's not cold. It looks cold. It's not cold. <laughs> you know, that's happened when you have too much salt water. <laughs> <laughs>